I'll take the leaf blower and I'll blow it off. But she'll hit the windows and everything else. Man, I said, man, you need to let that stuff go. But she got me. I got me, she got me a good one. And the Lord dealt with me the most. This is what, when God deals with you, he'll punish you. She said, well, I want you to pray for me. I said, well, okay, I'll pray for you. But so I go around and then Jay, uh, Jason calls me and I said, well, I got to leave. I'll be back. So I hop in the truck, she goes in the garage, I go on down the road, and I'm going down the road, and Lord, boy, Lord, beat me up. You didn't pray for that, woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disobedience. Getting back to the basics. Praise God, hallelujah. I go on down there, I help Jason all day long. The Holy Ghost is dealing with <laughs> Man, you got you, you ain't right. I'm sitting there, I'm you know, thinking to myself, well, I know the Lord, I'm disobedient, so you ain't right. And that's when the, the, uh, the thing came to me. I was watching how we was doing the, the shingles on the roof and everything. And there's a certain way that you got to do things. Right. When you put roofs on or whatever that you're doing, there's a certain right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. Amen. That's right. And I was watching one fellow and it wasn't the right way of doing it. I told Jason, I ain't one to get confused. But watching him, I was confused. <laughs> and I don't get too confused too much laying shingles because, I mean, you just line them up and go with the flow. <laughs> and the things I don't know, like I told the young man, uh, the older man that came up and told me, like, if I don't know it, I'll find somebody that knows how to do it. Amen. I ain't going to try to do something I don't know how to do. You ever try to do something that you don't yeah. know how to do? Right. What happens? Yeah. Amen. Mm. Get woke up on it. Yeah. Praise God. But I go back later on that evening. Mm. I go back and I cut the grass. And I walked up to her and she she always meets me down in her garage, praise God, because I gotta blow it out. And she don't want no grass on her nothing. So I blow it out for her and everything. And I go around and we're sitting there talking and, and I just I just oh man, Lord, Lord beat me up, pray. Says I got a long time speaking. She just kind of looked at me and I said, I, I, I shouldn't have talked to you to that time. I had to get back to the base. I had to listen to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost right. it was tearing me up. Yeah. Praise God. And when you listen to what God speaks to you, right. you'll do what He says. Praise Amen. God. If not, you're disobedient. Praise God. And I just told us to sis, I, I shouldn't have talked to you in that tone of voice. She said, now you're right. I'm a warrior for I need prayer. I said, well, we're going to pray. Well, we got to talk. Man, you talking about the power of God moving in that garage? Woo! Praise God. I'm glad she asked for prayer. <laughs> not only did she get blessed, I got blessed. People, people were driving by and looking and she had her hands up. I was like, man, I just laid hands on her. We both began to pray. Speaking in tongues, boy, God got to moving. And, but she got to sharing some things with me. I didn't know she was going through a struggle. She was talking about taking her life. Wow. See, God puts you in certain places at certain times. Yes. That's why it's a best to obey the Spirit. If I wouldn't have, said, if I wouldn't have apologized to her or allowed the Spirit to deal with me, she probably would have committed suicide. That's right. Amen. But praise God, through obedience, praise God, we both got blessed. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Amen. Praise God. I, I had to ask for forgiveness, ask the Father to forgive me, and she, praise God, told me the truth, praise God, and, and she even got blessed. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the truth will set you free. Yes. 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 Getting back to the basics. Yes. You come to the altar, praise God. You, you coming back to the main basics. Yeah. That lesson this morning, praise God, with Abraham, yeah. praise God, and the promises of God. Amen. They're ours, church. Yes, yes. They are. Praise Amen. God. And, and when you first get saved, praise God, and you're a child of God, uh, you hold on to the promises. Yes. I'm here to encourage you. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Hold on to the promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I ain't seen it, uh, but I know that I'm promised a better place, uh, yes. a mansion, Amen. praise God, uh, and I don't have to worry uh, no more. Amen. Right. It's like that right. song. That's right. Well, have to worry no more. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I hope that that fixed her problem. Praise God. She goes to church. But see how Satan can use you? Right. you see? Sometimes it takes us just by being obedience and being disobedience and then being obedience again to allow the Holy Spirit to move the deal. With Amen. And after I got done, I could see the chains on. We were sitting around talking a little bit more. And if I wouldn't have been obedient, God was already whooping me that day. Almost dropped the bundle of shingles off the roof. Good thank God there wasn't nobody down there. We just got done telling the kids to go in the house. Amen. What, 20 minutes later, the hammer fell off the roof. <laughs> Jason's just looking at me. I'm like, my hands are wet. And I'm like, Lord, I could have killed somebody. 
You know what disobedience does? You, you kill somebody by being disobedient. That's right. Amen. That's right. Praise God. That's not, I don't know why, why I'm saying that, but that's not my message. Praise God. But it's, it's a little bit. I just have to share that Amen. testimony. Praise God. Why? Thank God for listening to the voice. Yes. yes. Knowing yes. the voice of God. Praise God. Amen. When you become to the beginning of your walk with Christ, yes. it's a walk by obedience. Yes. By listening to the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise God. He calls you, deals with you, and that's how it starts. You start off with the basic things of life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And as you grow and you mature, Praise God. Some of you still sucking on the bottle. I'm talking about the yeah, whole ball of y'all ain't sucking on the bottle. Kids <laughs> and stuff that don't quite understand these things. Praise God. Then you get that meat. Praise God. Amen. You get the utensils. Praise God. And then you get the old and the utensils. God gives them out and shows you how to use it. Praise God. Get that. Praise God. Hallelujah. You got to start off with the basics. Praise God. You can't just get into this thing and spec. Woo, boy, I'm deep. Right. I'm still learning. Uh, learning. Yeah, Amen. Right. Praise right. God. But if you have your Bibles tonight, that's just a little something I want to share with you. Praise God. I hope you get. I uh, hope it ministers to somebody. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I'll tell you how for, forgetful I'm getting. I got a check here Francine gave me last week. No, it was the week before. <laughs> like the week before, two weeks ago. <laughs> Praise God, I told you, Lord, bless you, come in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. I told Teresa, I said the other day, I said, I got to go to the bank. She said, why? Well, before we did it, she helped me do a job. I said, because I got a check from the week before a lady gave me, I want to get cash. And here, I just found another. It's been a week before that. Hallelujah. But if you have your Bibles, I'm going to read uh, uh, just a couple verses of Scripture, praise God. Uh, I want to read, uh, let me find it here, second, I think it's 2 Timothy, chapter 6. I'm just going to read a couple verses, praise God. I'm not to keep you too long, praise God, but the, if the Holy Ghost will have other plans, praise God, hallelujah. But God is good. Amen. 2 Timothy, or 1 Timothy, I'm sorry, chapter 6. You say, now I don't think there is chapter 6 of 2 Timothy, praise God, hallelujah. Y'all was looking at it. That's good. That's a start. Get to the basics. It's a shame. A lot of Christians don't even know uh, the, uh, the, uh, the chapters of the uh, Bible. That's right. If you'd ask them to quote them, they might get Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then after that, they freeze up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. But if you, if you have that, praise God. I just want to read a, a couple of script, scriptures here. Verse 18. They, that they do good... That they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, and willing to communicate. <clears throat> then if you have your Bibles, turn to Hebrews, the 12th chapter. We'll read the 16th and 17th verse. Least there be any fornication or profound person as Esau. For one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You still holding on to that birthright? Amen. Amen. Whoo, don't sell that. For ye know how afterwards, when he could have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Mm -hmm. I think Teresa might have got a little bit messed up on this a little bit. Rejected. Can you imagine being rejected by God? Yeah. Amen. Rejecting your birthright? That's right. The only way you can reject that birthright, praise God, if you reject Christ. That's right. Praise God. He's given us something far greater than inheritance, praise God. Hallelujah. For he found no place for repentance. Aren't you glad that you found a place for repentance? Yes. yes. That's, Amen. That's, praise God, the focus of what I want to get on tonight, praise God. For he sought it very carefully with tears. Amen. When's the last time that you cried? Got back to the basics. And allow the Holy Spirit to deal with your heart. Amen. When's the last time that you uh, had compassion, praise God, not only uh, for your soul, but your family, praise Amen. God. Let all talk to you. Now. Come on, hallelujah. Amen. Where does it start? To basics, praise right. God. God dealing with you. Yes. Amen. When you, praise God, come to Christ, uh, praise God, He was dealing with this. Praise God. They were preaching. Hallelujah. Preach with me, brother. <laughs> but he sought it diligently. 
Are you seeking it diligently today? That's right. Are you still Amen. getting back to the basics? You know, when you go through basic training in the military, praise God, uh, they give you so much water, they give you clothes, and praise God, uh, they give you clothes sometimes when you run those runs, they give you one jug of water, uh, praise God, and the clothes yeah. that, that are made uh, that you so, that you can't sweat, uh, praise God, you hold the sweat in, uh, and then when you get to the water hole, uh, it may be cold, if not, they'll leave it in the sun, uh, praise God, and you better fill the canteen up. Right. Because you're getting in basic training. You got there, but now you got to go back. That's right. They make sure, praise God, they give you the basic training that you need. The Word of God, praise God, gives us a basic training that That's what right. we need to be children of God Amen. in the hour and the time that we live in, that we can help others. That's right. right. Praise God. Right. And Amen. the church has failed. Yes, it has. The Amen. church has got away from boot camp. That's right. Praise God. Hallelujah. They done got away from it all. Yeah. Praise God. Look, sitting there watching the uh, uh, church the, uh, this morning with Teresa a little bit. I come in the room and I knew it had to, be, it had to do something with church, but I don't know what she was watching. But they was talking about a lady. A lady was on there talking about how she was. I think it was a library or something, wasn't it? I don't know. They have pictures on there and I'm like, now how are you supposed to deal with somebody's heart? And you're more or less they've shown postcards on there. Well, I, I, I worked here and I worked there for this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put some word in there. Praise Amen. God. Talk about Christ. Uh, yes. Praise God. People need to hear about Christ, and that's the trouble. They're hearing about everything else. Yes, they are. That's right. Yeah. Praise God. Up there on that roof with four different people this week. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lost it. Hearing all kinds of things. And then Jason's over there. Praise God. Yeah. Thank God for Jason. Now, praise God. I, I, I know God's still working on him. I know, I know he's not right. Praise God, but I'm praying for him. Hallelujah. And he's sitting there telling everyone, to watch your mouth. There's a man of God over there. Amen. One fellow man, he let her fly. I said, hey, I've heard worse than that before. I said, don't apologize to me. That's the one you got to worry yeah. about. Yeah. That's right. Uh, See, that's yeah. all you ain't got to speak yeah. very much. That's so right. You know your actions, <laughs> praise God. And got to talking to him and witnessing to him. I said, hey, if I could talk to him on this roof, praise God, get him back to the basics. Praise God. God was dealing with me, son. You need to get back to witnesses again more effective. You need to get to tell these ones, praise God, that, that there's a place and a time, praise God, coming, that Christ is coming. Yeah. Yes. Praise God. This was my opportunity uh, to allow God to minister through me, that I can minister through them, praise God, that they can hear the word. That's right. That might have been the only time that they went to church. Right. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> we got to talking and got to talking to one boy and Lord was dealing with him. So the next day we get on the roof. And here Jason's got the radio on. I don't know what station he was listening to, but they was talking about no. God flood the earth. See, the world knows. But they was making a light. They was talking about, well, when God flooded the earth, was it salt water or fresh water? <laughs> hey, who cares? There was water. That's right. <laughs> well, God told them to bring two of everything. How'd they get them, how'd they get a male and a female fish? He said, well, now, was they on the boat or in the water? The guy said, man, read the book. It's common sense. The Noah built the ark and was on dry land. He, somebody on that program uh, knew a little bit about the book. Hey, the job, but, but then you had one guy. He had to call in. <coughs> well, they put them fables and uh, 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 stories in there just so you continue to read the book and get interested in it. I was like, my, my, where are you coming from? <laughs> Man, you better get back to the basics. Yes. And start reading the book, praise God. Then you'll know what happened. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I was sitting up there, and, I, and, and me and Jason, we were sitting around talking, and uh, and I was sharing with him, praise God, you know, and uh, he was always telling me, and I'm getting sick of hearing. Not only from that, my family, and everything else, right? Well, you probably went through the same thing. Man, you better watch yourself up there. You know, you just have a heart <laughs> God can protect me. Yes. Yes. I put my yes. trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. So the doctor had to put some stents in me. God's got his hand on me. That's right. Praise That's God. Right. He's doing the healing. Praise That's God. Right. They act like you can't do nothing. That's right. <laughs> I ain't going to lay around like some of these folks. That's right. Amen. You hit it right on the nail this morning. Don't want to work, you lazy bunch. Get out and get, get to work, praise God. Amen. Food stamps and welfare, praise God. Right. Taking advantage of it. 
You're putting your trust in the world, praise God. That's Hallelujah. right. I mean, everybody, don't get me wrong, everybody needs some help because we even needed help at one time. But praise God, when you get to depending on that help, praise God, you need to get back to the basics. Yes. That's right. You need yes. to get back and start seeking God. Yes. God, can you help me, praise Amen. God? Amen. God, can you deliver me, praise God? Yes. God, right. can you do this for me? I'm trusting you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Preach it, brother. Hallelujah. That inspires me. <laughs> Church said, Bible says he'll use the little ones. Don't right. sit back there and be quiet. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I've said, Shame on you. Get back to the basics. Amen. Praise God. He's going to get with it. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> but, profess the person. I mean, they was around me. But this is what really got me. How many are selling out the basics and necessary that Christ is willing to give them, but yet they're selling out the birthright, the greatest blessing of all, and they want to inherit the things of the world. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. Lose their soul. That's Amen. right. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. They're willing to sacrifice it all and lose their soul instead of going to heaven and die and go to heaven. That's, That's right. right. That's right. I mentioned that to a, a, a man and a woman uh, there a couple weeks ago. I uh, got to talking to them, and like I said, uh, I was just sitting back and listening and quiet, uh, and I just said, well, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Amen. Boy, you mentioned hell, and they don't want to hear that. That's right. right. That's right. They don't want to hear that stuff. It's less alone they don't want to hear about Christ, praise God, but they know. That's yeah. why they don't want to hear, hear about right. hell, because they know, praise God, that if they don't straighten up, yeah. that's where they're going, praise God. But you mentioned hell, and oh, no, you shouldn't be talking like that. Hey, got to warn them. That's right. right. Praise That's God. Right. I'm not ashamed to warn them. Somebody warn me. Amen. Hallelujah. If yes. they're not ashamed to throw out and hold hands, uh, two girls and two men, praise God, I'm not ashamed of the preach God. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 It's time that you get back to the basic training. Amen. It's right. time that you get a hold of God. That's right. Praise God. Get on that roll of telephone. You need to make a call. That's yes. right. It's collect. It's yeah. free. It it's don't free. cost you nothing. It's already been paid. Hallelujah. Amen. He paid the price yes, on Calvary. He gave his life for yes. us. Hallelujah. Amen. I already have yeah. life. Mm. Getting excited. Hallelujah. Yes, I got a birthright I'm entitled to. That's right. That's right. And so are you. Praise God. Each and every one of us got a birthright we're entitled to. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, when you're born, praise God, they stamp your feet. I don't know if they do fingerprints, but I know they stamp your feet, praise God, and they put it on a little piece of paper, birthright. Praise God. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, got the birthright, praise God, right. and when you come to Him, He stamps it on your heart, yes. upon right. your life. Right. 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 You are a child, you're marked, praise yes. God, hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Jesus Christ, <clears throat> you're born into that kingdom, <clears throat> the kingdom of God. You're a child of God. Amen. You're no longer your own. That's right. Praise God. I had an extra uh, tree stand, praise God, and J Jason was sharing with me that he needed a, a tree stand. He was going to grab by. I said, don't go buy one. I got one. I said, you can have it. You just kind of look at me. Okay, you can have it. I said, hey, it was given to me. Why should I sell it to you? That's right. Praise God. See how God works? Praise Amen. God. He said, just ask, praise God, and believe. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I can meet his need, praise God. Hallelujah. Because God meets mine. That's right. Hallelujah. Here we've been going on 22 years, I think. Cutting firewood and burning it, praise God. After 22 years, finally gonna get furnace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Gabby can walk over now and click. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. That's exciting, church. Yes. That's how my soul salvation is. It's yes. exciting, yes. praise yes. God. Yes, to know is. that I'm getting something new uh, from Christ Jesus Amen. every day. Amen. opportunity of your life. Yes. Remember people say, I can't get that. I know the Lord's here, but where is he at? He's here. Just be patient. That's, That's right. right. That's yeah. right. So people, so many people were in a hurry. They wanted to fix me up quicker now. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can buy stuff at the store. It's supposed to be quicker fixer up. <laughs> 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 20 minutes later, the stool is sticky as it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Then you go to try it, praise God. I got a chainsaw. I'll put Jiffy Lube. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll 
heavy lube. I, I put the uh, super glue, Gorilla Glue, uh, Bee Bond, and everything else in it. I think super glue, Gorilla Glue, was the one to hold it the most. Boom. But after a few uses, it comes back out. <coughs> but see, when you get to the basics and you drill and tap that thing out and put the right bolt back in, it'll stay. That's right. Praise God. When you allow God to work on this, praise God, hallelujah, tap it out, now praise God, and reap it in just a little bit, whoo, it'll come out just right. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory. It'll hold. That's it'll right. hold the pressure. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. I gave Teresa that long the other day, and she's yanking. This thing ain't going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I know what happened. Tilt, tilted it on the side. Praise God. All the oil went to one side. Hallelujah. Well, we got it started. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. I thank her for the help. Praise God. She's my help. She's right. my helpmate. Praise God. Get back to the basics. Praise God. I got the sap and she got the poison ivy. <laughs> praise God on the job. Hallelujah. Glory. But well, God's good, praise God. I mean, we got a birthright. Not only that, you got an inheritance that you, praise God, are not rejected from. Right. Providing. Ooh. Providing them. Amen. You stay true. You stay true to God. Amen. You stay true to the word, praise God. You stay true to your witness. And you right. stay true to the, the walk and the life that you live, praise God. Let others Amen. know, uh, praise God, that hey, I'm a child of God. Amen. Everybody there, I'm a Christian. Yeah. yeah. I'm a child yeah. of God. When I got on that phone and she was supposed to be uh, 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 uh she thinks, put it that way, she thinks that she's all right. That's the trouble the world, a lot of people. They think they're all right. That's right. Praise God, but they need help. Amen. And they get back, praise God, to where they first started, praise God. Get back to your first love, praise God. That's what I'm saying. You're sent to find you out. Yes, they will. Yes. Your phone ain't working. Let me call you up 10 or 11 times. Eventually, if you get mad enough, it's going to come out. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Come on now. Amen. She said, well, I had other people that don't give you the right. <laughs> Amen. I don't give you the right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Teresa just looked at me and, 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 and said that the person that did it is close to me. That's what shocked me the most. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then you, you mentioned it to him. I said, repent. You need to repent for what you said. Amen. I didn't say nothing wrong. <clears throat> They acknowledged that it wasn't a bad word or nothing. I'm like, man, uh, where'd you get your vocabulary from? Amen. To me, uh, yeah, 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 that, that, that's that's not right. Praise God. Right. I, mean, I was sitting there reading the, reading it a little bit while I got to reading this, and Lord had me turn back over on that. Uh, uh, matter of fact, it's right on the top page there, a little bit of wine for the stomach's sake. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible only talks about two wines. So they can say a little bit of wine for the stomach's sake all you want. There's only two mentions of the Bible in wine. There's a new wine. And unburdened one. Amen. Praise God. He said, Be not eat seen and eat drunk. Praise God. Right. Hallelujah. A lot of people think it up. Well, I'll go over here and have a little sip, a little taste. Praise God. I'm all right. Better get back to the basics. Amen. Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know. I'm like Mark. Praise God. You know what you can do and what you can't do. Amen. What this word tells you to do, this is your basic roadmap. Right. This is the basic thing right here that'll get you to heaven, praise God, if, if you continue to walk it in and be led by the Spirit. Now, praise God. Now, that's the only way that you'll attain that birthright, praise God, and that you'll be eligible not to sell out, praise God, and not forsaken, praise God, and you'll carefully with tears. Yes. Right. Yes. You do something wrong, and the Holy Ghost steals with you. Yes, so he does. Amen. Tears will come to you. Right. And then you acknowledge, man, yeah. I gotta fix this. Yeah, sure. yeah, man, I gotta fix it. We yeah, all grow yeah. up. There's things I know when when I was growing up through uh, uh walking with Christ, praise God, I didn't do it God's way. Sis, that's a good song. I didn't do it God's way. Why? Because I didn't listen to what the Spirit said. That's right. And boy, did I get whooped. Yep. Boy, I was about ready to lose the birthright. Praise God, but thank God there was someone praying. And I realized that the Spirit was nugging at my heart, praying, tugging at my heart, to, and I had to realize, hey, I got to get back to the basics. Right. I got to start up. Amen. Praise God. When they're out there racing them cars, praise God, and they got 300 laps, and they're on lap 288, and there's a wreck, they ain't going to start over from lap one. That's right. No. They're going to start off on that lap, praise God, where they wrecked that, praise God, and then they're going to restart it. Same thing with us, praise God. When we mess up in our walk with Christ, praise God, we need to acknowledge, praise God, get down and, and ask God for forgiveness and get ourselves back up and continue walking yes, on. Yes, you don't yes. start all the way from the beginning again. Yeah. You know, the next time, hey, I ain't going to do that. Praise God. A lot of people today, uh, well, they're wishy-washy. 
They're unclean. That's right. Praise God. And, and they're trying to uh, think they're doing God a service. Praise God. And, 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 and they're thinking they're all right. And, and they're trying to lead others. And, and the other people are looking at them like, why should I follow and listen to him? Boy, I know he ain't walking right. That's right. When you have a walk with a testimony that's pleasing unto God, praise God, others will see it. Yes. Praise yeah. God. They'll know, Amen. praise God, hallelujah. They'll, they'll see your walk, praise God. You'll be blessed, praise God. He'll bless you, praise God, coming in and going out. Yes. I've been right. more blessed, praise God, this year, Raymond. I, I said I started off rough, but praise God, doors are opening up. Yes. We're getting blessed, praise Amen. God. Amen. So we can bless others, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. That's how this thing works. Don't yes. be greedy. You ever heard that saying, don't be greedy, get to the needy? That's right. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. That's how Christ is. He gives Amen. to the needy. That's right. He gives to the ones, praise God, that need it. Praise God. Hallelujah. He ain't greedy. That's praise right. God. He's got an inheritance. So praise God. He wants to share. Praise yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. That he can share that with us. Glory. Testimony that's pleasing. What about you tonight? Praise God. Has God dealt with you lately? About doing something, not only that, praise God, but seeking Him more, praying more, and reading more. Praise Amen. God. Getting back to basic training. <clears throat> praise God. Hallelujah. I believe if a lot of the church folks, uh, praise God, so-called church folks in America today, uh, praise God, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, wherever they may be, praise God, uh, get back to the basics. Praise God. And where are they started? Page one. God created the heavens and the earth. And start reading through this thing, praise God. Then they'll know, praise God, what they got to look forward to. Amen. They'll know instead of guessing, praise God, what's in right. there. You mentioned the Bible, start reading scriptures and quoting scriptures when the Holy Ghost comes on you, they just look at you like you're nuts. Praise God. I, I got the quoting scriptures up there. I'm like, Lord, I ain't quoted them scriptures. I don't know how long, praise God. Hallelujah. But well, the Holy Ghost kept giving them to me. I, praise God. And the guy was listening to me. He said, where you minister at? I said, I minister to whoever. Not where I'm at, praise God. Uh, he said, where are you pastor? I said, ain't no pastor. Then, then, then old, the old dead enemy comes along. What's the difference between a minister and a pastor? Yeah. There ain't no difference. We're all ministers, praise God. Just as the pastor, praise God, that he's got more of an anointing that's called by God to lead the flock. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. He just kind of looked at it. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I just sat back and looked at him and Kept on laying singles, and then he asked me another question. Praise God. Well, can you pray for some stuff? Then, then, then they wanted something. <laughs> they wanted something. They know. Praise God. Ain't that how we ought to be? Praise God. Amen. We ought to want more of Christ. Yes. Amen. Praise God. We ought to want more of praise God what God's got for us in our life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, uh, it's by faith. We all know it's by faith. Get back to the basics. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes your faith gets down. Praise God. Yeah. Sometimes uh, the enemy will catch you off guard. Sorry. Your guard's down. Praise God. I got caught off guard this week. I ain't afraid to admit it. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I knew I had to do the right thing. Yes. Go back and apologize. Amen. I told her, I said, that's one of the hardest things to do. Yeah, it is. Is go back and apologize to somebody when you're wrong. Yeah. Praise God. And look them in the right. face and ask for forgiveness. Amen. Praise God. I think she got more blessed with me doing that, praise God, than praying for her. Praise God. The hallelujah. We had a hallelujah breakdown. Woo, glory. God, I can feel God in that praise place. Hallelujah. Get them lightning rods up. <laughs> That's right. Woo, praise Amen. God. Hey, listen to me now. Get them lightning rods up. Hallelujah. Allow God to do a work in you. Praise God. You need something in your life. If you need a closer walk, praise God. Hallelujah. You want a desire to do something for God and, and you don't know which way to get uh, directed or guided, come back to the basics. Praise God. He'll lead you. Yes, He will. Amen. He's the best boot camper uh, trainer I've ever had. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. Amen. Like I said, if I was going on a trip, I wanted to be a God. I, I need somebody that knows uh, that's been there. Praise God. I don't want somebody that ain't been there. That's right. Praise God. Hallelujah. One guy asked me, said, you know a little bit about roofing? I said, I'm going to a couple. You know, I mean, I don't know it all, but I know a little bit. I said, now, I'm learning, learning how to cut around some of this stuff. But I said, if I don't know how to do it, I ain't messing with it. And yes. put my name on that and Jason come up there and say, hey, wait, who did this? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's how Christ is sometimes with us. All right, now, wait a minute. Look what you did. I told you to do it this way and you turned around and did it that way. You would being disobedient. Mm -hmm. Now, look, now we've got a mess to fix up. That's right. Praise God. You going to ask Amen. for forgiveness? You going to ask me for forgiveness? Instead, a lot of people just keep on walking. That's right. God said, man, that ain't, the way, that ain't what I told you. 
I want you to come unto me. He that had to lay down and give you rest. Praise God. Call on me. Ask for repentance. Amen. That's all you got to do. Ask for repentance. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's a quicker figure and fixer up. That's right. Yes. Praise God. I told Brother Seth, I said, boy, he got a haircut. Got his ears low and raised his neck. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the easiest way to get a haircut. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I recognize stuff like that. Praise God. That's just a little thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I'm blessed, praise God, to see a man like that that is his age. Uh, he could be somewhere else. That's right. Yeah. Tell me you're too old to shout, though, you ain't. Me too seeing a 90 something year old man get filled with the Spirit up in the guy's church one night, shouting all over that church. Just got out of the hospital having a heart attack. Be obedient to God. It's a it's a it's a miracle. Amen. It's a wonder what God can do. Yes. With praise God. Hallelujah. But I thank God that I can realize when I need to get back unto Him. That's right. I realize when I need to call and ask God for something. He's my supply. Yes, praise yes. God. I don't need to run down to the supermarket or Walmart every 24, 24, and 25 minutes of every day of the week and say, "Well, I got to go here. I got to go get this." Praise God. Hallelujah. God said He supply your needs. Yes. God's already got your needs. He's just wanting you to call upon them. Amen. Get back to the basics of the believing and saying, God, I'm going to stand upon this promise. God, hallelujah, I, I got an inheritance. Praise God. I got something I ain't seen it. But I know it's there, praise God, and I'm holding on to it. Yes. Praise God. And if I don't, like Raymond, I think Raymond mentioned this morning, if you don't see it down here, it wasn't meant for you to see it, praise God. Because right. you won't go to a better place. Amen. Praise God. I, I, I want to go to the better place. Amen. Praise God. This world ain't my home. That's right. Oh, yeah. I mean, we get, uh, we're in this world, but we're not of it. Don't get too adjusted. No. Praise God. Don't get too adjusted. The Bible says that rain's on the just and the unjust every That's day. Right. You go look at that graveyard out there. <coughs> there there's tombstones out there of all ages on it. That's right. Praise God. Death is no respect of person. That's right. Right. God is respect of the person. Praise God. Hallelujah. No respect for persons in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He wants to save all. Praise God. He wants to give everybody a chance to have that birth. Amen. Life. Praise God. But church, it's just something the Lord was dealing with. The church needs to get back to the basics. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I asked you, when's the last time you spoke in tongues? <coughs> when's the last time you shouted? I know it ain't all in the shout, praise God, and it ain't all in speaking in tongues, well, praise God, but hallelujah. That's how you do your communication, praise God, hallelujah. Amen. You need to get filled with the Spirit, in other words. Amen. You need to get rebaptized. When's the last time you asked the pastor, say, Pastor, I know I've been baptized once. Take me down to the river. Woo! Come on then. I know when I came back, that's the first thing we asked it. It's take me down. Take me down and baptize me. Because I knew the Bible says it's the first word so. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be the Lamb. Hallelujah. If you want power and you want God working in your life, praise God. Hey, it's, it's not Jimmy, it's not Brother Jimmy, but it's God working through me. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't uh, claim to be more saved than this one or that one. I just want to be even. Right. I just want to realize in my walk with Christ, praise God, that hey, that I can help someone else. Hallelujah. Praise God. If I'm being faithful, praise God, and listen to the Spirit. Praise Thank God. You. That's how we win souls for Christ. Amen. Look at the church world today. It's a shame. They got out of boot camp. Amen. Praise God. A lot on a lot on the night. I, I mean, I ain't running no church down or nothing. Praise God, but I guarantee you, a hundred percent of a lot of folks probably left their church if their church ain't closed down and went to the singing tonight. Praise God. Well, they, you give them a singing, and man, they'll flock to it. Right. Praise God. But I pray at the singing. I, I, I pray there's some word preached. Amen. Praise God. I, I believe that's what they need to get back to. Praise God. When they start having these singings, uh, just have a, a little time to the side. That's uh, right. Praise God to give some word. It's a word, praise God, that might touch someone's life. Praise God. So there's there's powerful meanings in song. There's Amen. song Kelly's song tonight, praise God. Yes. Every time I hear it, praise God, brings tears to my eyes. Yes. Why? Because they're tears of joy, not sorrow. Amen. They're tears of joy is knowing that, hey, this world ain't my home. I got That's a better right. place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody wants to die. You say you want to die, you're sick. I mean, I know we're going to die. Amen. Praise God, but let God take me. Amen. I ain't going to help it out. It ain't my life to take. Praise God. Right. Hallelujah. But I know one thing. When I go, woo, <laughs> hallelujah. Already I told Teresa, them, don't cry over me. <laughs> Praise God. Which I know they will. <laughs> you heard that say that. But I told them one thing to serve. When I die, don't have no tear-jerking funeral. Get somebody in there to preach the word. 
Hallelujah. If somebody ain't give somebody the word, yes. praise God. Hallelujah. Why? Because that's what I want. That's what I want. I believe that's what God wants, praise God, that word. Till the day we die, Amen. praise God. Now, to get back to the basics, praise God, for others. If they, if they take that word of God, praise God, they say, hey, I remember, I remember Brother Jimmy, praise God. He, he preached the word, he lived it, he walked it, praise God. He testified to me. They might take that word, praise God, to touch someone's heart, praise God, yeah. hallelujah. But I know one thing, praise God, I'll be rejoicing. Amen. Rejoicing in heaven, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Would you all stand tonight? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Careful. It says careful. This man saw it with tears. He saw he saw that. Right. He tried to get back favor from God, to get touch God's heart again. Praise God. There's a million, millions and thousands of people, praise God, that fall away every day. Amen. Millions and millions, praise God, that are hurting, but yet yeah. they won't fall back and call on Christ. Right. Right. Praise right. God. They seek with tears, praise God, but, but they yet to open their mouth and say, God, forgive me. Amen. How easy is that? That's, that's just as easy as a baby saying, Mama, can I have a cookie? Yeah. Just that easy. But they won't. That's right. They won't. They're afraid to give up. They're afraid to let go of the things that got them bound. The world right. got them bound. They're afraid they're going to lose friends, family. Praise God, they're going to have to give something up. I thank God I gave something up. Yes. I thank Hallelujah. God that I gave sin, a life of sin. Yes. Up, praise God. To have a life of righteousness yes. and a new birth right. Praise That's God. Right. Why? Because praise God, I know there's better things coming. That's Amen. Right. Amen. I ain't got to worry no more. Praise God. He's got all things set up. This world's not my home. I'm just passing through. Uh, hallelujah. Ain't got to worry about sleeping on no picnic tables no more. Right. Ain't got to worry about thinking about where I'm going to take a shower. Praise God. Or where my next meal's coming from. Uh, praise God. Uh, he's got it all prepared. Praise God. Yes. I became a, a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. All things become new. Amen. An old man's floating down the or something. It might be a Pittsburgh River. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I died out. I accepted the fact that I needed Christ in my life. Praise God. And I needed help. Praise God. You go to the doctor, you need help. Praise God. Right Amen. there. You're, you're realizing, hey, I need help. When you come to Christ, you're realizing, hey, I need help. Thank God. Now, hallelujah. He's the help that we need. Amen. He's the help that the church and the world needs today. Praise God. But are you willing to accept the fact? That it starts from basic training. Hallelujah. Reading, praying, and fasting. I'm like Raymond, praise God. If you want to fast, praise God. And then they tell you, well, no, you can't fit, you can't take that pill. Praise God. So I just do it in between. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jason said, man, now you go up here all day without eating nothing, just drinking water. I said, hey. I trained myself for it. Just like me when I used to train myself to drink. Right. Praise God. I used to drink myself sober and start all over. Amen. It would be falling all over the place and I'm ready to go. Praise God. I'm training myself, praise God, through Christ. Uh, praise God. That ain't going to be falling all over the place, but I'm ready to go. Amen. Praise God. Get filled in joy. And praise God. And happiness. Uh, I'm drinking from a new fountain. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. I'll never run dry. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I just want to ask you tonight. Closing and Mark and Melissa want to come tonight. When's the last time you really saw God? That's right. And ask God to forgive you. You say, well, I'm not calling nobody no sin. I'm not saying that anybody sinned. But praise God. But what if? But what if? There's a big but what if? You did something. What about say, what did hinder me? You did run well? Mm -hmm. Are you running well? Are you walking? Woo. That's right. Are you walking then? I hope you're still running, striving. Put one foot before the other. Praise God. Hallelujah. And not a crawl prayer. Allow the Satan. Praise God to make you walk back. Amen. Praise God. But boy, when you when you be obedient and allow God to talk to your heart, I guarantee you watch and see what happens. That's right. Watch the windows of heaven. Praise God. It's Holy Ghost come upon you. Mark my word. God can work in your life. Amen. Why? Because you be obedient. You get back to face and truth. If you need something in your life tonight, and you haven't asked God, and you're not sure, and you're, and you're pondering just a little bit, Lord, am I at the place that I'm ready to lose that birthright? 
Am I at that place, God, that I, I, I'm about, God, to, uh, not to have no repentance? Lord, that I'm just walking the walk, praise God, uh, 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 but I'm not walking the walk or talking the talk. That's the saying they used to say in the world. Walk the walk, walk the talk. Back it up, in other words, praise God. Or are you walking the walk for Christ? Amen. That's what I'm getting at, praise God. Or have you let your guard down? Allow Satan. Praise God, just when somebody comes up, any old buddy comes up, you fly off the hand. I mean, I, I know Mark and Melissa, when they get in arguments, fly off of one another, you can just tell by looking at them. <laughs> so your actions should. Actions speak louder than words. Amen. Praise God. I'm sure that lady, when I, when I said to her, well, I'll be back, what's the difference? Are you worry? I can see her face now. <laughs> Man, this is a preacher talking to me like this. Praise God. But it was good. Needful, you know, but I had to ask for forgiveness. Amen. See how easy it is? Yes. If you don't ask for that forgiveness, I could have went on. And boy, when she said what she did, now what if I would have died? How would you pray for me? That's right. That hit me. She said, I probably would have never got my healing or whatever I needed. You just walked away. And I was like, Lord, forgive me. Amen. I just walked away from a child of God that needed help. Are you walking away tonight? Would you all come tonight? Amen. Praise God. Just ask God to deal with your hearts. Praise God. Any, anybody needs prayer after that? We'll, we'll pray with you. Praise God. We'll leave God. Let's all gather around tonight if we can. Just ask God to get us back to basic training. Praise God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus.
got something in your life that you're going through. Uh, you need prayer. You need God to answer it. Uh, prayer. Amen. Uh, you step up here by faith. Inside the building, 
with about 90 pounds of backpack weight on me, and I had to swim. And there was a lot of guys up there that went in, didn't know how to swim, and you know what happened to them? They sunk in the bottom. They had to dig them out. But there's things that we have to do, amen? So amen, good message, amen? And I believe that's what the church needs to get back to is the basics. Hey, the rules, the conditions, the training, amen? And that's what we're missing, amen? Amen, good word, good message. I thought it was really good, getting back to the basics, amen? Praise God. Don't forget Bible study, amen? We're in, still in the book of healing, amen? We're going through A.D. Allen's courses. Uh, remember Brother Wally. Continue remembering Brother Wally in prayer. Remember Sister Marie in prayer. Amen. What did you say you had to go back to the doctor? From Wednesday. Wednesday. So keep Sister Marie in your prayers. Remember Sarah, too. Huh? Sarah and Tina. Yeah, remember okay. Sarah and Tina. Praise God. And what? Pray one for another. Praise God. So amen. We pray that we see you out the Bible study. If we don't, we hope to see you next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Shake hands and love everybody.